Hi, I'm Mike Stanson. It's September 16th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Welcome back, Morgan. Thanks, Mike. So all eyes were on inflation this week. The consumer price index came up somewhat stronger than expected. How did the markets react? Sure. Um, so those numbers definitely came in higher than expected, showing an increase of 0.1 for the month and then 8.3% for the past year. Um, that data kind of seemed to take away the uh, slim chance of a 50 basis point hike for next week and uh, started to spark some conversation about a potential 100 basis point hike. And then in our space this week, you know, we saw MMD kind of continue to cheapen. That is 11 basis points in the 10 and 30 year part of the curve. And, you know, kind of continued to see the mutual fund outflow, outflow stories for the uh, sixth consecutive week. Uh, last week, it was about a billion foreign outflows. Yeah, those interest rate moves in the muni market uh, forced us to change the scale on our chart for this week. Uh, <laughs> continue moving up. And uh, we saw the uh, ratios, on the, at least on the long end, 30-year ratios are now well above 100%. I think it's 104% uh, when I looked this morning. So uh, continuing to see that underperformance by the muni market, you know, driven by the, uh, the technical factors on top of uh, the macro environment with inflation. How did the new issue market respond? Sure. So the new issue calendar this week was about nine billion, which you know was a heavier calendar than we've seen. And BAM had a pretty nice week, pricing about two hundred and forty million across sixteen series and six states. Um, just a couple of deals, kind of to highlight from this week. The first one being uh, ninety three million City of Joliet, Illinois, priced by Stiefel. There was a forty nine million dollar deal uh, for City of Saraland, Alabama, priced by Fraser. And then there was a 20 million city of Van Alstine, Texas uh, competitive deal, which was bought by Baird. And then kind of as we move into next week, we do expect the new issue calendar to slow pretty substantially given the Fed meeting. So it looks like currently the calendar is about a billion and a half, which does make sense. Um, you know, it seems like the market will be focused on what that meeting is saying and kind of any moves coming out of it. But um, that being said, there is one deal that we will definitely be watching for here at BAM, which is um, the 79 million Manhattan School District of Illinois, which is going to be pricing with Bernardi next week. That'll be interesting to watch. There are a couple of larger transactions on the calendar uh, for the following week. So again, I think once we get the news on what the Fed does, uh, exactly. some of the municipal issues may come back. Uh, we're also, uh, we're out at the Bomb Buyer California Public Finance Conference this week. That's one of the largest conferences uh, of the year in the muni market. And we heard a lot of conversation about potential uh, new money issuance tied to the infrastructure package, uh, but really that's uh, further out in the future, probably more of a 2023 story even than a, than a Q4 22 story. So we'll keep watching to see how that develops. Um, we're going to have a video next week with Mark Capel from BAM's San Francisco office where he talks about some of the takeaways from that conference. So uh, people should stay tuned to BAM's uh, YouTube page. Well, thanks for being here uh, for this week's update, Morgan. We'll uh, talk to you soon. All right. Thanks for having me.